गुड इवनिंग Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. All right, good, good. You guys ready for your last class? Yes. Okay. Is it cold in Chicago right now, Oscar? <laughs> Not so much. Not so much. All it, right. It's um, it's about ten Celsius degree. Ten Celsius. Mm -hmm. So 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 how is what is that in Fahrenheit? That will be seven uh, sixty sixty or, or seventy. Seventy. So mm -hmm. it's it's uh, okay. That's acceptable. All right. Uh, That's acceptable, but, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Like in Guatemala. Right, right. It's fresh. To, mm -hmm. Today was warm, fresh. Okay. Good, good. All right. So welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you again. How was your day? Good. You had a good day? Yes. All right, good. Irene, how was your day? Good evening, everybody. My day, the, my day was nice. Thank you for, for asking. Okay, good. What about you, Jose? Hi, uh, my day was good, a normal day. All right, good, good. Okay, sorry. So let's begin. What's today's date? It's uh, November 19th. Yes, November 19th. 19th? No, yeah, November 19th. What's 2020. the year? 2020. That is correct. Yes. Okay. So in this, um, in this level, we covered different topics uh, and those topics are some of the topics you uh, you use them all the time you use them every day so what is the the topic that we covered to talk about actions that we did in the past but we don't do anymore Things you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Simple past. 
Okay. How do you say solía? Used to. Used to. Okay. So, um, yo solía volar piscuchas. How do you say that? I used to fly kites. I used to fly kites. Excellent. How do you say solía jugar con muñecas? I used to play dolls. I used dolls? to play dolls. So remember, when you're saying used to, you're making reference to an action that was normal in your life before, but you don't do anymore. What is a synonym of used to? Would. Would. So would. you can say, I remember in October, I would fly kites. Or you can say, I remember when I was a little girl, I would play with dolls. And you're saying exactly the same thing. Same thing. Actions that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Or actions that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. So you say would, or you use, or you say um, used to. Any questions about that, uh, about that topic? No. no. Okay, do you guys remember the second conditional? Si usted viniera temprano, si usted viviera cerca. What is the form of the structure that we use to express those uh, opinions? Si usted viniera temprano, how do you say that in English? If uh, you have came earlier. Okay. Someone else, si usted viniera temprano. If you came up. Yes, if you came. If you came early. Uh, if, right. If you came Just, early. Yeah. So without when, any auxiliary? Nothing. When you're using the second conditional, you simply borrow um, the simple past. And using the simple past makes your um, message uh, hypothetical or unreal. So, si yo fuera a la playa, how do you say that in English? If I would go to the beach. If I went to the beach. If I went. So remember, whenever you want to use the second conditional, it is necessary uh, that you use the simple past uh, structure. How do you say, si yo no tuviera carro? If I had a car. Not really. What is the what is the auxiliary we use for negative uh, information? If I didn't have a car. If I didn't, didn't have a car. If I didn't have a car. How do you say si yo no tuviera tiempo? If I didn't have a time. If I didn't have time. So it's very simple. If you want to talk about hypothetical situations, the name is the second conditional. You must use the structure of the simple past. How do you say si usted manejara más rápido? If you drove faster. If you drove faster. Uh -huh. How do you say mm -hmm. si usted no manejara rápido? If you didn't drive faster. Exactly, if you didn't drive fast. So once again, whether the information is positive or negative, it is necessary that you use the simple past structure. Remember, we have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different function, a different structure. And many times, um, some tenses, they have extra functions like the simple past. Oh, we use the simple past to talk about finished activities. Yes, mm -hmm. but we also use the, the simple past to talk about unreal situations. How do you say, si yo tuviera pelo largo? Vilma, you're muted. Si yo tuviera pelo largo. If I, if I. I had, no, if I had, if I had a long hair. If I no. had long hair, yes. Si yo me bañara temprano. 
if uh, so you know, if I have a no, if I took a shower, if I have took a shower, if I took a, took a shower early, if I took a shower early, yes. So once again, when you're talking about um, hypothetical situations, you have to use the simple past tense. So when we covered this topic, I gave you the example of using your imagination and, and that you're running for politician. So when, when politicians, they have meetings and everything, they said, uh, si usted me diera su voto, si las calles estuvieran. So everything is hypothetical. How do you say, si usted votara por mí? If you, voted. If you gave in your vote, no, if you. If you voted, if you I voted voted. for me. If usted me diera su voto, if you gave me your vote. If you right. gave me your vote. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will give you some, uh, a few minutes uh, to put that into practice. Think that you're running for uh, mayor, candidate, whatever, and you are proposing, you're offering uh, changes. So what would you do? So let me... Uh, mm -hmm. Three, create rooms. All right. So you can, just, yes. Just to be clear, and the next sentence will be, if you voted for me, I would. Yes. Is that correct? I okay. would or I could. Would I or could. could. Okay. The, the two options are good, are acceptable. Okay. Yes. Okay, it's loading. Tu láminas. ¿Cómo? Tu láminas. That was good. good. You're a genius. You're a genius. <laughs> 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 
That's what they say in reality. <laughs> that it, it doesn't work any long. It doesn't work any long. Not any, no, Salvadorians will never That's fall in that one. in that trap. <laughs> You know, it's true how they used if to you... trick people. <laughs> <laughs> if you voted for me, like uh, Ernesto, would... nice. what is your opinion, Jose, about the first condition, <laughs> Jose? Jose, oh, me dejaron sola. <laughs> no, no, me meto. I am. Oh. I am here. Um, okay, uh, in this moment, I have some, some, some example, yeah. uh, let me check, let me check, on real situation, hypothetical. Did you finish the platform? Uh, almost. Only, only some, only. And you? Did you finish? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I finished. Yes. What about you, Veronica? Did you finish the platform? Yes, I finished. Only one sentence. It's right. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, good, good. Yes. That's good. This is good. Yes, sir. Uh, in this kind of sentences, the hypothetical situation, uh -huh. and we have to use the simple past tense or? or yes, you a, do. Yes, ah, okay. Simple yes, uh, when, when you're talking about hypothetical situations, it is necessary that you use the, the simple past structure. So, uh -huh. si yo fuera al parque, if I went to the park, si yo bebiera más agua, if I drank more water, so the conditional sentence has to be in the simple past form. Yes. Uh, okay. And that's how you use it. Yes, at, at the moment, supposedly I, I got it, but after <laughs> when I want to practice, right. I have a lot of doubts. Right, right. And that's why you need to practice as much as possible. So whatever you learn, you put it into practice. Yes, yes, I see. So. Okay. okay. Good. Very good. Is how do you say si yo viniera temprano a clases? If I, say, I if came. I, ah, okay. If I came early to class. Uh -huh. Right. Is supposedly sound easy. <laughs> I'm not sure. It, it, it is easy. All you have to do is know the simple past form, and then you uh, uh you use it. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, and Francisco, and do you know what what uh, model or what is the next section for? The uh, I think course? you guys will be in um, TOEFL preparation or TOEIC preparation. One of the two. Yes. Uh, okay. Yep. So That's you know, uh, so sooner or later, sooner or later, when you um, when you start expanding your vision and you said I want to be in a better place in a better company in in, in another country, um, there is a possibility that they will ask you for the TOEIC or the TOEFL exam. So you guys need to be prepared to pass that exam. Mm, that sounds good. In, in some cases, in some cases, or let's say you want to study in a university in another country where English is the language, uh, part of the requirement is that you pass the TOEFL or the TOEIC exam. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> All right, let me visit another room. Okay, thank you.
teacher. If I see her, Hello. I tell her. Hello, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Hello. Hello teacher. I have a, a question. And yes. Can you repeat that, that structure, please? Uh, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me a second. No problem. Doesn't matter. So when, oh, when you're you. using the second conditional, it is necessary that the person uses um, the structure of the simple past tense, whether the information is positive or negative. So if you say, uh, um, si yo no tuviera televisor, if I didn't have a television, mm -hmm. if I didn't have a television, so let's do it the opposite. Si yo tuviera televisor, if I had a television. So, um, when you're talking about hypothetical situations, you need to use uh, um, the structure of the simple past tense. Uh, we can't use the future. No, uh, it is not uh, possible. Uh, no, uh, because when you said, si yo tuviera trabajo, if mm -hmm. I had work, if mm -hmm. I had work, I could improve my life or I would improve my life. Mm, okay. say, at the time you're speaking, the person doesn't have work, but that situation can change and will change. So, so uh, in, uh -huh. when we use the the future future tense, for example, I have an example. Yes. If I if I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. What about that that sentence? That is the first conditional. Uh -huh. We have four conditionals, uh -huh. zero, one, two, and three. Zero conditional is something that is always true. What happens if you water plants? Mm, What's the result? It's going to be a, a grow. grow. Right. It's not going to be grow. If, if you water plants, they grow. That is true. Uh -huh. That is true. That is the zero conditional. That's the zero conditional. Ah, okay. the, the first conditional is something that you do now with a result in the future. Ah, that is the first conditional. Yes. Okay. Now the second conditional, the second conditional makes reference to activities that are not true when you're speaking, but you can change that situation. Ah, okay. In the future. Right. Okay. If okay. I have work, I would have. Okay. If I had work. How mm -hmm. has to be in the in the simple mm -hmm. past form? Yes, if I had the work. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So remember, we have four uh, four conditionals. No, simple past. If I had work, mm -hmm. si yo tuviera trabajo, tendría más dinero. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's that's how you use it. If mm -hmm. I have. If if the people eat too much, they get fast. Zero conditional. If people, if people eat too much, they, they get, get fast. Yeah. Zero get, conditional. That's the zero conditional. Ah, uh, okay. If you touch, okay. Now the first conditional, something that you do now, mm -hmm. will result in the future. That's the first conditional. The second okay. conditional is the one you guys are practicing right now. Okay. Si usted ahorrara, si usted trabajara, si usted estudiara. So it's, that's the second conditional. Ah, this example is it's okay. If I didn't have a car, I would have to travel in bus. Yes. If I didn't have a car. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. everything, okay. Everything has to be in the simple past. If I didn't mm -hmm. have a car, I would have to travel by bus. Yes, so that, that okay. example is good. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay thank right. you. Teacher. Good, very good. Sir, condition. All right, all right, all right. Okay, um, 
Any questions about the second conditional? How many conditionals are there? How many conditionals exist? Vilma? Four. Four, Four. Four. exactly. Four conditions. Zero, zero conditional is something that is always true. If you eat a lot of pizza, you get fat. That's true. Zero condition. If you don't go to the gym, your health is not good. That's that's always true. That's the zero conditional. Okay. The first conditional is something that you do now with a result in the future. Okay. If you save money, you will be ready for Christmas. Second okay. conditional is something that is not true when you're speaking. If mm -hmm. I didn't have a car, si yo no tuviera carro, that means that I have a car, right? Mm -hmm. So that's when you use the structure of the simple past. And the third conditional, si yo me hubiera quedado, si yo te hubiera escuchado, si yo hubiera ahorrado. The third conditional makes reference to actions that are finished and there is nothing you can do to help to, or to change it. Si yo hubiera ahorrado, si yo te hubiera escuchado, si vos me hubieras llevado, all that, is history and you cannot change it. So that is the third conditional, right? Okay. Right. Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. And trust me, the four conditionals are easy to use. Uh, and you need to take advantage that once you understand how to use it, that's exactly what you need to do. Use it all the time. Use it all the time. Use it all the time. Okay, any questions or comments? Can you can you give an example of each conditional now from sure. one to four? Sure. Let okay, me, okay, okay. Let, let me put okay. it in the chat. What happens when you water plants? Uh -huh. What happens? When you what if you water plants? Oh. What happens? The ground gets wet or the plants grow. Okay, good. So if you water plants, they grow. That is true. Grow. That is true. If you water plants, they grow. That's the zero conditional. Something that is mm -hmm. always true. If you go to the gym, you lose weight. If you save money, you are ready for emergencies. So something that is always true. The first conditional makes reference to something that you do now with a result in the future. So if you go to the gym, what happens if you go to the gym? You lose weight. Okay, you will lose weight. You lose weight. You will. Okay, so that is the first conditional. Something that you do now with a result in the future. You will lose weight. Mm -hmm. If you go to the gym, you will lose weight. You will lose okay. weight. Okay. Right. That is the first conditional. The second conditional is to talk about things that are not real. So you said, if you saved money, si usted ahorrara dinero, you would be able to travel. If you save money, you will be able to travel. Si usted ahorrara dinero, podría viajar. Now, this is not true when you're speaking, but you can change it. Say, you know what, you're right. Uh, so I'm gonna start saving next month. So you can change that. That is the second yeah. conditional, things that are not true when you're speaking. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, apply to the gym if you if you went to the gym go to the, if you went would, to the gym if you went to the gym you would lose weight exactly exactly okay. yes and then we have the third conditional you say if i had listened to you uh, okay. so you have to uh, oh, past perfect past, uh -huh. past perfect uh-huh I would have gotten the job. Mm 
Okay. Si te hubiera escuchado, habría conseguido el empleo. If I listened. If I had listened to you, I would have gotten the job. So what is the message in the fourth conditional, the third conditional? This person did not listen. This person did not get the job. And now there is nothing he or she can do. Any questions? Okay. No? no. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, any, every, every, um, every conditional has a different structure. So, uh, but it's, yeah. uh, it's a matter of practicing. It's a matter of practicing. Okay, is it raining where you are right now? No. No? No, really. Okay, it, it was raining here in Lourdes a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so um, let's go. Any questions about the four conditionals? Zero, first, second, and third? Zero. All questions. <laughs> Okay. It's difficult to think when you're talking. You have right. now you have time. You have time because we are practicing. But when right. you're talking, it's right. easier. That what what do I have? What a structure do I have to use? Right, right, right. Yes, it's complicated. Yes, yes. How do you say si yo viniera a clase todos los días? Don't take it personal. It's only an example. Okay. If I would came class every day. If I came to class every day. Oh. Yeah. No estuviera así. Right. <laughs> no estaría haciendo tanta pregunta. I wouldn't be asking. I, I wouldn't be like this. Well. <laughs> <laughs> like yes, I am. Uh -huh. Right. right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Take a screenshot of, of the of the of the chat so you use it as reference. You know, in the future, mm -hmm. that's exactly how you supposed to use the uh, uh, the four conditionals. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's change a little bit. Let's talk about something we've been having lately in El Salvador. Let me see. Mm -hmm. New share. Can you see the questions? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we'll, we'll be talking about rain. Rain, rain, rain. Yes. Sorry, can you make a um, bigger, please? Sure. Right now. Thank you. Okay. Is that there okay? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me eight to nine p.m. Eight to nine p.m. <clears throat> right here. So let me send. Um, these questions to the WhatsApp chat. Let me assign the pair work. We create. Okay. Yes, everybody has a partner. And here we go.
rain in this season. <laughs> Hurricane. <laughs> hurricane, yes, hurricane. And, uh huh. Disaster. Disaster is the other, um, <laughs> the other word that comes to my mind. Yes. Disaster. Yes, the other country were affected due to the rain. For example, in Nicaragua, there is a place that was flooded. Ah, but thank God good. here, yes, yes, it can rain some days and nothing to to worry too much. Yeah, but uh, for the ocean, um... Nubia, is, okay, is she there? Is she there? In Oscar. I'm oh, sorry, I, let me check. Okay, Nubi. Okay, ask me the question. Okay. Uh, Do you feel what? I should start, I should be straight up. I feel sad, I feel Mm -hmm. But if you don't have umbrella, if you don't have a coat, coat, yeah. coat, yeah, uh -huh. it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like this. It's terrible. Okay. Yeah. What about the number three? Okay. How does rain change your feeling? Uh, How does rain change your feeling? I uh -huh. happy. <laughs> yes, in your case, yeah, you, know, you, you, you enjoy the rain. Do you like the rain? A pleasure uh, to find employee for for day. Um, there is kind of o ONG, something like that. Yes, it's a ONG with Insafor. Mm. Mm -hmm. For that reason, uh, it's bad for me <laughs> to be rain. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. The next one is uh, how does rain change your feelings? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. A, no a nostalgia. <laughs> yes, we wanted to, like what I was saying that uh, when it's raining, I like to be in the bed, like uh, I start <laughs> to feel sleepy and need a coffee. Do you like to hibernate? Yes. <laughs> Why do you mean hibernate? hibernate like bears ah <laughs> yeah yes yes something like hey, that what what do you like to what do you like to do espérame espérame que la, las preguntas me fueron what do you like to do in the rain in the rain i like to lay in my bed in in in, 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 let me see, and watch a movie. Okay. Because when it's rain, when it's raining, I I would um, like to to read a book or read something. Okay. Excellent. Have you ever done? Have you ever done any rain dance? No, I never. Because I don't, I don't like in, to be in. Uh, um, year. Yeah, this year changed our lives forever. 
I'm yes. so bored to use the mask, the face mask. Mm. I hate it. I don't want I to use the face mask. I, don't I want hate to use it. Me too, because uh, the mask uh, caused me uh, allergic. Allergy? Uh, allergy. Aller yes, aller allergic. Yes. Allergic and for that reason I I stay uh, uh, sick uh, in the in the two weeks ago. All right. Oh. Have us yes two six weeks. It cost me a, a cough cough and okay. it was a good memory playing under the rain. Ah, yes. yes. The, the, the best time. Yes. The very best times. Very best time, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> without technology. Yeah. We were so disconnected from, from all these devices, you know. I yeah. used to be, I mean, my childhood was... Uh, the, the best. I mean, it was really happy. Yes. I I have a six sibling. Uh-huh. Um, sibling. And when we we are we were shy, uh -huh. we used to play on the, the rain. Exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. We used to play ball under the rain. I mean, like... Uh, <laughs> You know, like as a child, you if it's raining, you're like, this is the perfect time to do so many things outside, you know? Yes. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. It was, yes. It was a happy time. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and nowadays, you know, things are are so different. I mean yes. so so much different that uh but that's that's life, you know. Life changes a lot. Yeah, exactly. Okay. In my school, yes, <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah. with, with with umbrellas and something like that, oh, uh, I and, and and the the song is was "Gota de lluvia al caer." Este, it was in, drops, in English. Uh -huh. drops, a little drop, drops, 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 drops. Yes, the in English is is the original song. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Ah, uh, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and in Spanish is got the and you <laughs> <right. laughs> I was child I was, but it was a disaster. Everybody was out. Uh-huh. Uh, the worst is 
uh, you you didn't you didn't go to the beach for the quarantine. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't. It was a problem, right? Yes. Yes, take a shower at home. <laughs> in, in the in the yard. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Did you guys finish um, asking all the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. We finished. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. It's a it's a. All right. So what is your opinion about the rain? What is rain to you guys? Anybody? Rain yes. is beautiful when I was, when I stay in my house. Okay. Because I like the rain when I stay in my house because I can uh, drink a cup of coffee, watching tv or watching a movie uh -huh. <laughs> okay good excellent someone else what is your opinion about rain is it good is it bad mm -hmm. nobody has opinion about the rain the rain rain is relaxing right yeah mm -hmm. rain is cool rain is nice Especially because, if you're in your house, uh huh. Uh, in our country, it's very hot, so we need rain from time to time. <laughs> right. To right. refresh the, the weather. Right. So yeah, the rain is necessary to refresh the weather. Yes. And uh huh. But we was talking with with um, my partners, uh -huh. our classmate, uh, about the rain when the rain is strong, fuerte, I don't know, because the rain caused cause, uh, many disasters. Right. Yes, in the city or in the little town or in the world. Mm -hmm. For right. example, the, 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 the strong or the storm mm -hmm, caused many disasters. Right, right. Yes. You like the electrical rain? No. <laughs> Yeah, what is what is the typical reaction in El Salvador if there is an electrical rain? <laughs> but like if someone is watching TV, yeah. what are you told? Mm. Turn off the TV. Yeah, turn and off turn all the off. electrical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> cover cover the mirror. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So there are different things, you know, like some of them might be superstitions, like, oh, turn off the fan, turn off the light, turn off the television. And uh, mm -hmm. I cover don't know. Cover the mirror. Yeah, cover the mirror. Yes. So uh, I Teacher, think, but, yeah. Go ahead. But so, something is true. If you don't have the right protection, uh, you will you will go to your computer damage. Your right. electronic uh, equipment, like a TV, or computer will be damaged right. if you know how, if you don't have the right uh, electrical Lugs, right yeah. it's true it's true uh, the ground the ground protect, protection right right it's true yeah, so it's true. yep so you know like when, when when it rains like if it's an electrical rain you know i disconnect <laughs> some yes. in my house you know <laughs> because i have the natural service the regular service i don't have any extra protection in, in, in my mm -hmm. house. So, you know, that's the, the, the like the first, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the first reaction that people get, you know, mm -hmm. you disconnect your appliances, right? Yes, because it's the, the appliances is, uh, are expensive. Dangerous. Yeah. And, and, no, yeah. are expensive. And one, one day, uh, 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 how uh, electrical rain and uh -huh. the energy, the, the, the energy in the air, uh, I saw 
de, 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 de energy flow in the air. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, inside the home, the house. Yeah. This is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Electricity. Uh, you have flow. to be really careful with electricity. Yes. Electricity yes. can kill you. It can kill you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, and there was one last topic that we covered in this level. Uh, that was the future perfect. Do you guys remember the future perfect? We'll have. Uh, we'll have we'll finished. Have. Past participle. Okay. By tomorrow, I will have a. Uh, Auxiliary uh, have and past participle. Uh, yes. Thank uh, you. We'll have plus the past participle. So remember, at 12 midnight today, that is the limit for everybody to finish the platform. So you say to yourself, at one o'clock in the morning, everybody will have finished the platform. Habrán terminado. So um, do I have anybody here that is still working in the platform? Or is I'm finished, finished? Finished. you're finished, okay. Yes. Nubi Araceli, are you finished with the platform? Nubia, Nubia. Jose Ramos, are you finished with the platform? Yes. Okay. Done. done, teacher. Okay, Jose yes, Aquino. Teacher. Are you finished with the platform? Sure, thank you for asking. Okay, Oscar. Yes, I'm done. Good, Julia. Thank you. Yeah, probably finished. Cecilia Mendez. Cecilia, Cecilia. Rocio, are you finished? Uh, I, I finished. I finished. Uh, I finished. I finished the platform. Excellent, excellent. Rocio. I, I have some or exercises. Some exercises. With okay, mm -hmm. but, but you will finish today. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good, mm -hmm. Veronica. Yes, I did. Good, Jose Rodriguez. But only one sentence is wrong. I, I don't know why. Okay. All right, Jose Rodriguez. Yes, I see you in the next level, teacher. Okay, all right. Irene? Not yet, not yet teacher, but um, I finish tonight. Tonight, good. And Vilma? You're, you're muted, Vilma. No yet, okay? I'm going to finish tonight. Okay, good. Yeah. I at 12 o'clock. <laughs> at 12 o'clock. <laughs> By 12. Yeah. Yeah. By 12. Yeah. And, and remember that uh, uh, usually you are giving more time to finish the platform. But since the next level starts this coming Monday, you know, uh, Inglés Corporativos, they have to send all your names and reports mm -hmm. tomorrow morning. So that's what you have mm -hmm. until uh, uh, today mm -hmm. at midnight. Okay, so um, I want to thank you guys for being patient, for putting all your time, your effort of being present in class. I know that being connected from 8 to 9 p.m., you say like, oh, I could be doing other things, but you decided mm -hmm. to be part of this uh, challenge mm -hmm. and have better opportunities in the future. So Thank you very much. I appreciate your friendship, the times that we have worked together. And um, I will see you when I see you. Okay. Are you going to be with us the next time? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so because uh, I'm not saying that I won't, but two months, two levels is the maximum that a person can be with the same group. So uh, uh, there is a good possibility that you guys will be with someone else. Now, but there is always a first time. We know, we might be like, okay, so you go with the same group. So in case we don't, it was a big pleasure working with you guys.